Hi friends, welcome back to the rabbit hole. The angle has this looking like it might even be a bigger haul than it really is today. Today's video is a yes style haul. Before we go any further in today's video, I want to let you know this will be a mixed bag of items, well a mixed, a mixed box. I bought a little bit of everything in today's video. I think some of you will probably be excited to hear about this cane, uh, SPF 50 PA++++, what's it called? Oh, here we go, my finger was covering it. The Green Fit Pro Sun Sunscreen. I've got a bag in my mixed bag, this shirt. This shirt is something that was in this box. I mean, it's kind of perfect for this channel, is it not? I could not resist adding this K fashion to my order. But in all truth, today's video is going to mostly be an Asian makeup try-on. And yes, I do mean not just K-beauty, I bought some J-beauty, I bought some C-beauty. I saw that ZC is now on the Yes Style website, so I bought some ZC. And as is always the case, there will be timestamps in the description box below so you can watch whatever interests you and skip whatever doesn't. I do want to take just a moment here to say something important. Apparently doing this is bad for the channel, but I just can't run my channel any other way. I value your time. If you don't want to watch something, I don't want you to watch it. But you know, YouTube content creation, it's so specific. You have to do things in such a specific way, and the algorithm doesn't like that I do this. So I want to quickly say, if you appreciate the channel and you don't want to miss my face in your feed, please make sure you hit the bell. I'm only remembering to say this today because I just had an experience where the whole thing could have pre been prevented if I remembered to hit the bell. One of you had recommended me the most amazing channel. Their name is Hope Mess Tom. I absolutely fell in love with this channel from first sight. I watched six videos in a row. I was over here thinking, I have found such a great channel. I love their taste. I love their style and reviews. I'll link them in the description box below. But sadly, for as much as I love YouTube, I don't have enough time to watch everything I'd like. So a week goes by wherein I hadn't watched anything, and I went to find this channel again that now I couldn't remember the name of. Do you think I could find them? Do you think that YouTube was going to show me this channel that I had watched six videos from that I had subscribed to? No! N no, because sometimes YouTube is mean. So anyway, months go by and finally someone talks about this channel and finally I have found it and I have hit the bell now. We are not making this mistake twice. <laughs> it's just so frustrating that you have to hit the bell or you're never going to see channels that you are interested in again. You know what you're going to see on your YouTube feed? Ocean Gate. You know I'm right. I am not going to make a video today about Ocean Gate. I am not going to do I am absolutely not going to do it. I would never get on a submarine ever. I don't even care if it's a yellow submarine. I'm not getting on a submarine. That just seems like a bad idea. Granted, I'm the kind of person who doesn't even go on roller coasters, okay? I like slow rides. Take it easy. And not submarines. I don't need to know more reasons why to never get on a submersible or whatever. I, I don't, I, it, I'm talking about it. I'm talking about it. <laughs> Let's get into this haul. Let's get into this haul. I actually do want to start with this cane sunscreen. I'm going with what one of you said in terms of the pronunciation on this because I like your theory. So we are sticking with it. Cane it is. And this is the product that I picked as my Yes Style freebie. If you are part of the Yes Style Influencer program, you get one free item every month. I'll have a link below if you'd like to sign up. So I've never tried this before. Obviously, this is a try on today. Cute packaging. That's pretty cute. I do know that this is a sweat proof sunscreen, and they also have a waterproof version, but it is uh, in that uh, takes 21 days to ship category, so I'll, I'll, I'll order it later. <laughs> you all were recommending me some uh, J Beauty sunscreens that I want to get also, and a lot of those are ships in 21 days. <sighs> I should just make my order, just wait it out. It's not going to kill me, is it? It's not going to kill me if I order the 21 days. In fact, it'll make me stronger. <laughs> But yeah, this particular one is the sweatproof version, and this one is in stock right now. We have that initial little bit of a white cast going on, but I think, I think it's going to blend into my skin. That might be because I'm fair. 
But I do like the idea of a sweatproof sunscreen. I think in particular, that might be really nice for around the eyes. I really feel, you know, I get the question sometime, which sunscreens don't burn your eyes? And I genuinely think they all burn your eyes if they get into them. I think they all do. It's just this matter of making sure the sunscreen doesn't drip into your eyes. And I feel like if you are sweating, that might really contribute to it. I mean, it has for me in the past. I'm only telling you this because it's, it's happened to me. I live in Florida. I have indeed sweat my sunscreen into my eyes and all of them hurt. I almost feel like the mineral sunscreens might sting the most when they get in my eyes. Maybe just because it's kind of hard to get them back out. I don't know. All I know is I don't like sunscreen in my eyes. I already have contact lenses that, true story, do have UV protection built into them. I don't need sunscreen in my eyes. <laughs> But I want to protect my eyelids, you know? I do want to make sure my eyelids are protected. So hopefully, hopefully these sweatproof options will be a good option. I have to say, I actually really liked the application of that. It felt kind of like a lot of other sunscreens that I've tried, except it also adds this sweatproof claim to it. I was worried that it was going to have a little bit more of a sticky feel because the only other sweatproof K-Beauty sunscreen that I can think of is that new Haru Hunter, Haru Hunter, <laughs> Haru Haru Wonder Airy Fit sunscreen and that one was a little bit sticky to me. This one is not sticky. It felt like every other sunscreen and yet they say it's sweatproof. So I'm pretty excited. I'm excited. I will be doing more sunscreen reviews. My goal is to do a lot of sunscreen reviews this summer, including the waterproof and sweatproof dedicated video. But yeah, so far so good. Again, this is a try on, so I don't have long term thoughts, but if any of you do, as always, you can comment them. All right, I am gonna pull out all of this makeup and we are gonna do a makeup try on next. Let's go for more of a natural look today. It might be a little bit of a challenge for me. <laughs> but I think I can do it. I'm gonna start with the Kaja Beauty Bento. Did you know Kaja is carried on Yes Style? I know I've talked about this, but I always forget that Kaja is a Korean brand. They are stored in my brain as a Sephora brand, but no, they are on Yes Style and for much better prices. They don't yet have the new Kaja Beauty Bentos. I bought those, they're on their way as we speak. <laughs> Anyway, this is Velvet Dreams and it is all matte, which I don't wear a ton of all matte looks, but we can do it today. So I'll grab the middle shade and I guess, do you want to just do a, a one shadow look? That's really easy. We'll just do a one shadow look. Kasha's eyeshadows are so much more pigmented than the majority of K-Beauty eyeshadows. And you can really do some very pretty looks today. I just, I want to keep it simple because I'm trying to do a more natural look. And I'm still going to add lashes, mind you. I bought some J Beauty lashes. We're going to use them today. And I also bought from Clio. This is called the Sharp So Simple Waterproof Pencil Liner. And in the shade 03 Cacao Brown. This should be okay. It's a twist up. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I also want to try out another Kaja item on the top of my eyes here, so I'm gonna finish up this. That looks pretty good, and because it's so small, I actually didn't need to use an additional brush. Let me go ahead and give you a swatch. Wow, this is a really creamy, nice option. And I also wanna use the Wink Stamp, so now I might be moving out of more natural makeup looks, but I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. I admit I have already tried this because I was really, really excited. And I can't believe how much I like this. I feel like this is the first time where I've ever felt like these stamp products actually work. And I think the reason it works is because they have a left and a right option for you. I don't think you can just take the same exact shape and use it on both eyes. You need, you need two separate shapes. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the right version and let's stamp it right there. Do you see how I drew it a little bit out from my eye? I'm gonna connect it back in later with the liquid eyeliner. And I actually haven't tried the liquid eyeliner yet, but it's included in the set. So we'll go ahead and attach these wings. 
Wow, this has a really good color to it. I admit I'm still getting used to it. I'm still new to these, but I feel like it, it actually works. This is why I love K-Beauty. Leave it to K-Beauty to figure out how to actually accomplish this. Because, ooh, I have tried some of that idea from Western brands and it has just fallen short. Let's move on to a little bit of J-Beauty. I think I bought the right product here. I think this is the Kiss Me Mascara. Oh, okay, yeah. Make Long and Curl Mascara Advanced Film. I have heard some people rave about this product. I am actually going to curl my lashes real quickly, not with a K-Beauty tool, but with the only eyelash curler I like. I feel like I like it because it's not metal. <laughs> See, what you have to know about me is that my fears aren't unwarranted because for some reason, I'm really good at injuring myself. You know how typically mascaras that make curling claims have a curved brush? This one is only a very slight curve. Okay, you know what I'm already liking about this mascara? It's not clumping. I, I can't believe it's not clumping. I feel like almost every mascara I've ever tried in my life clumps. This is easy to apply. So I'm feeling like this might be a really fast mascara to apply if you get tired of how long mascara can sometimes take. So we're gonna switch gears for a moment. We're gonna move into Chinese makeup. I do wanna try the ZC Silky Lasting Foundation. Now I don't know how this shade is going to be for me. It was a little tricky for me to figure that out online. But I ended up buying HW01. Oh, it's really nice packaging. Uh, what is this called? Frosted Glass? This is the hydrating foundation. They have a matte version, but I do have a drier skin type, so this seemed like it would be the right choice. Nice pump on it. All right, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start with a really light application just because I don't know how this color will be. So I'm gonna use the Sephora number 47 foundation brush today and just pick up a little bit of this. All right. I knew we were kind of switching gears because from what I understand, C-Beauty is a, a different look than K as well as J-Beauty, which tend to be more of natural makeup looks. Again, obviously I just live in the US, so if any of you have more, more feedback into this, feel free to comment, but that's my impression. But we'll just make sure to blend it out real well. I mean, it looks like the shade is gonna work. I was just trying to smell it, so I ended up applying a little bit more on my nose than I meant to. I think it does have some fragrance, but it's a really light scent. I gotta say, I feel like this is pretty high coverage. Um, I'm feeling like I really confirmed my theories here on <laughs> the difference between C and K and J beauty, but I do, I do like the finish. I do like the way it looks on. I'm just kind of going over it with a beauty blender to kind of push it into my skin a little more just because it did end up being higher coverage. <laughs> but I feel like it does look nice. It looks nice and hydrating. It's not a bad color match. Look at these bands on my wrist. I can't get rid of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like a constant reminder of that time I failed myself with sunscreen. I think before I set that with powder, I wanna go in with this blush because I think that this is going to be a cream blush. This is by Lily by Red, and I bought the shade 03. Just get ready for this packaging. Look, it's a little heart. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, now is it actually a cream or is this a powder? <laughs> it's a cream. It's a cream blush. Okay, okay, I'm super excited. I don't own a lot of brushes from K, J, or C Beauty. If any of you have recommendations, I want J Beauty brushes. I do want J Beauty brushes. But for now, I'm gonna use one from Rose Ink and we'll see how this goes. Ooh, it's a really soft color. That's pretty though. I mean, that is light. That is a, a very light but pretty blush. So what I just did is I built this blush up a lot, but you can still see how natural it looks. I'm kind of regretting my choice to do foundation, blush, and then powder. I might have to go back over it after powder. So let's get the powder out of the way. I am beyond excited about the powder I bought. It is again by ZC, and it is the British Museum collab that they did. Alice in Wonderland. I am on an Alice in Wonderland kick lately. Oh my go oh my goodness. Anyway, here's the packaging and look at the inside. It comes with a puff. Puff. 
A mirror that is protected with this, and look at the print. Oh, it's so pretty. And I bought MH02 as the shade. I'm gonna use a brush though, because no matter what, I still am using Asian makeup with a Western mind. <laughs> And this is supposed to be silky powder, so it should work over my dry skin type. I only use the smallest amount of powder, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so speaking of Alice in Wonderland, I was on Reddit. I was on, I think the name of the subreddit is Name Nerds. No idea why, I'm not gonna have kids, but for some reason I was on the Name Nerds subreddit. And the question that was asked was, people with the name of Alice. Do you often have people relate your name to Alice in Wonderland? And my immediate thought was, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I cannot escape it. I, I cannot escape the Alice parallels. I was so shocked. All the comments were like, oh no, people never think about Alice in Wonderland. What? <laughs> Do you understand that when I meet someone, the conversation goes, what's your name? Alice. Oh, like Alice in Wonderland. And I go, Yes, like Alice in Wonderland. Except for one time, except for one time, there was one day where I was out and about, someone asked me my name, I said Alice, and they went, oh, like Alice in, and I had that moment of, nice face, Alice, nice face. And they said, chains, and I went, oh. Yes, yes, like Alice in chains whom I do love. I do love Alice in Chains. I think I love Alice in Chains as well as System of a Down because I really like harmony in my music, in my vocals. Oh, Alice in Chains is so good. Nobody talks about Alice in Chains. What a great band. Anyway, it was a memorable moment in my life, but it's only happened once. <laughs> Okay, I feel like this is absolutely a gorgeous powder from the packaging, from the design to the way it's sitting on my skin. This is so nice. Again, you see I'm using a really light hand. I would never use a heavy hand with powder if you have a dry skin type, but oh, it's really nice. It's a really nice powder. Let me see if it does have a color to it by putting it on my neck here. That also helps to eliminate my prominent veins that love to poke out from my neck. I am very self-conscious about that. We all have something, don't we? We all do. I can feel hairs on my face, but I can't see them. Where did I get a hair? It's fine hair problems. <laughs> what do you think of the blush? Should I go back over it or is it good? I feel like it still, it still looks nice. Let's leave it alone. But oh my gosh, so cute. I, I love the blush. This is a really good haul. We are, we are doing well today. I am saying that as I pull out a brow pencil though. <laughs> And I admit to you, I don't think I figured out how to buy the correct shades in K-Beauty. This is by the brand Unleashia, and it is called the Defining Eyebrow Pencil. And I bought shade number one, Oatmeal Brown. Is that gonna be the right shade? Mm, I don't know. Oh, it's really tiny. Wow, it's very small. Why is this looking almost olive on my skin? Is this, does this mean it's gonna work? I can't get over how slim the tip is. I bet this is very little product. Oh my gosh, I think this might actually be... It's a little warm. <laughs> it's, it's close, it's close. Y'all, this is such a nice teeny tiny brow pencil. It really is. If you can find the perfect shade for you. I will say this isn't bad though. It doesn't look bad. I will never in my life make brow pencils look amazing because of what I'm working with. Well, they're barely even, they're barely even sisters. You know how they say your brows are sisters, not twins? Mine are half sisters. We don't know how it happened, but somehow they're half sisters. I am almost done with this look, but I do want to add some eyelashes. These are again J Beauty, and this is by the brand Mish Blumen. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. I could not find a lot of information about this brand, but I thought I would go for some lashes that look a little more natural. I am gonna tell you something honestly, as somebody who has worn kind of a lot of false eyelashes at this point, it's actually harder to wear the natural ones. So hopefully you can see the band is really thin on these. When the band is thicker, it both attaches to uh, the area between your eyelid and your eyelash a little better, and it also makes it so you can feel it if it does start lifting up. The problem with the really natural ones is I feel like these can betray you more easily, but I actually got some glue as a gift with purchase when I bought these. So 
Hopefully this is some pretty strong glue. I have, wait a minute. This is supposed to be a Japanese brand. Why does it say made in Korea? And the eyelashes say made in China. I am so confused. It says mish-bloomin.jp. Where's the mascara made? The mascara is made in Japan. <laughs> Everything is now confusing. <laughs> I am slightly worried about the glue because every eyelash glue has a different amount of time it takes to set it. So we're gonna be figuring that out today together. What do you think is a safer bet? Should I assume it's gonna be kind of more of a fast drying glue or more of a slow drying? I think it's better to assume it's gonna be a slow drying gel. So as I uh, let the glue sit on the lashes, I'm gonna kinda curl it into a loop. I am so nervous. Yeah, it's one lash down, one to go. I do feel like this is actually quite strong holding glue. It, it feels like it is. <laughs> I regret my choice not to cut them. It's just a, a good idea in general for me because I have smaller eyes. And it would be so easy to cut these. They're in the clusters. I did see this brand say that you can also uh, cut the lashes themselves into maybe trios of clusters and that is much more beginner friendly. And I didn't buy a lip balm or a lip product, which is shocking to me, but it's because I bought so many already. So let's just finish this look with the Abiv Protective Lip Balm. I already talked about this in my Style Korean haul video, but I hadn't yet tried it. At this point I have. This is just a regular old balm. It looks like a chapstick product, but it doesn't taste bad. <laughs> and yet it has, what's the SPF on this? SPF 15? It doesn't taste too bad. Doesn't taste great, mind you, but it doesn't have that awful Western sunscreen lip balm flavor. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, that's my makeup look. What do you think? What, what do you think? How'd it come out? I am going to tell you my favorite products that I tried on here would have to be, I'm actually shocked by how skinny this brow pencil is. It's a really nice skinny option. I love this Lily by Red Blush. Oh my goodness, that was so nice and how adorable is the packaging. And by the way, there's even a mirror inside. I am also utterly blown away by the ZC products, both of them. They are beautiful in all aspects, in, in all aspects. I see why C Beauty is getting popular. As for the J Beauty products, which are the mascara and the lashes, I like those too. <laughs> I don't feel like I have any misses, actually. I don't feel like I have any misses. Oh, and I like the Kaja products, too. Yeah, this was, it was a good haul. We are coming up on the end of this particular haul, so I want to close out the video with some fashion items. Okay, really quickly, actually, before I show you what else is in the box, let me talk about this top. So this is by... It fell over. This top is by the Korean brand Just One, and I had to have it. I love the look of it. I love the color of it. But I have to admit that lately I've been not as super amazed with my K fashion items as when I first got into it. I bought some really, really beautiful sweaters from the Korean brands, from My Fiona, and from I bought a blazer from Style By Me. They're so nice. But I noticed that both of those say made in Korea on the tag, while this is made in China. This was $40, and while it's cute, there are some flaws. Can you see these lines? And it looks like it's starting to pill right here. But I did buy two more fashion items. I am absolutely, I am so excited about this one. This is a bag that I saw. It's from a, a Chinese brand. This is by Lindrick. It's called the Buckle Denim Crossbody Shoulder Bag. It looked so cute on the website. Let's open this together and see if it is as cute. Oh, please be, please be as cute as the pictures. No, be better than the pictures. Be better than the pictures. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so there's a strap in, I know there's two straps inside, a chain option, and I think I'm gonna put this one on it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this. It is exactly what I hoped it would be. Oh, this is so cute, and it's gonna hold everything. Can you see how roomy this bag is? I am so happy with this. There is a little bit of a smell, a little bit of a smell, but it will air out. I've come to f discover with my buying on YesStyle. Last item for this entire video is socks. <laughs> 
because as we've discussed before, I do love socks. This was a five piece set. I'm wearing some right now, but I am not going to show you the socks on my feet because the internet is a weird place. But these are toe socks and they're actually really, really nice fabric. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's stretchy, but it's soft and it is kind of thinner, but they fit great. And they have that uh, silicone. This is the inside of the sock, which helps to keep it on the heel. I, I really like these. They're exactly what I wanted. I, I feel like if there was a miss in the haul, it's the shirt and I still like it. I just don't like the defects. <laughs> But that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed hanging out with me and trying on my Yes Style haul. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all next time.